The Sweet Boat Ramp, one of the funnest places on the water. Some of you guys may not know this, but we actually have a whole channel dedicated to nothing but the boat ramps called the Miami Boat Ramps channel. And speaking of that, I'm going to take this moment to mention that this video is sponsored by us. That's right, the Wavy Guru team. If you guys didn't know, we run multiple channels. We have Boats vs. Haulover, the Miami Boat Ramps channel. Of course, Broncos Guru, Drain Plug Mafia, and of course, our good friend Wavy Boats. Now, all those channels don't just come together with just two of us working at it. Of course, we have an entire team behind us, but we are currently looking to expand that team. We have several job openings available for part-time weekend positions located in the Miami area, the Boynton Beach area, and the Sarasota area. So if you're a positive person with a can-do attitude who has an enjoyment for being outside and think you could have fun making social media content, email me at broncosguru1 at gmail.com as you might be a fit for our team. Now, if you don't live in one of those areas, don't worry. We're actually expanding outside of the Florida area this year. We already have projects in the works in Tennessee. West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey for this summer. If you live somewhere near a busy boat ramp, an inlet, a canal that we're not currently filming but you think could be a fit for our channel group, email me as well and we might be able to find a way to get you on the team also. But enough with that, let's get this episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week started. And we're going to stick with the boat ramps. Nothing like getting yourself ready, you and the family, to head down to the boat ramp to try and enjoy the day on the water. Now, of course, we all know this one's fake because there's no way that Chrysler would do this. The transmission would have blew halfway up the hill. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. It looks like it might have. So we'll start there with rule number one, don't tow with a Chrysler product. Yes, the Dodge Ram boys are already in the comments, but here you go. <laughs> Can you, get, can you get rally tires for a truck? So yes, if you're going to be one of them tow boys towing that boat to and from the ramp every week, you're going to want to pick your tow vehicle carefully. And there are several factors that will go into the tow vehicle you'll need. One of the first factors you're going to want to consider when you're trying to figure out if you've got the right tow vehicle is going to be the size of the vessel that you have. That's right, pretty self-explanatory. The bigger the boat you have, probably the bigger the truck you're going to need. So you're going to want to verify that the towing capacity of your vehicle at least matches the boat you purchased. Because the last thing you want to do is try and launch something a little too big for your tow vehicle. Things can go wrong. And one other thing to keep in mind, guys, if you've got a big boat, you're going to need some stronger equipment, stronger dock lines, and heck, maybe some stronger dock cleats. Okay, so you've determined your vehicle is capable of towing your boat, and then you've got one of the next big decisions you need to make in a tow vehicle, and that is whether to get a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive tow vehicle. Now, in this one, I typically almost always tell everybody the same thing. If you've got the money and you can pull it, go ahead and go for four-wheel drive, but there are some situations where you're absolutely going to need it. So the best way for you to determine if it's something you must have or it's just an option is go to your local boat ramp, inspect the boat ramp itself, and see if you see any signs of anything that may make you think you might need just a little bit of extra grip. The next thing you can do is watch others. If there's others at that boat ramp, go ahead and watch them launch and pull boats out. See if their tires are slipping or if there's any signs that they might need extra grip as well. Now, it's not just about the tow vehicle. Many times boats can be wider and taller than your average car. So before you go tow to that ramp, go ahead and do a test run without the boat and make sure your vehicle and your boat are going to fit. And once you get down to the ramp, that's where the real fun begins. Now, for many, if you've never actually backed up a trailer of any kind before, you're in for a treat. It is a very exceptional, relaxing experience. Super easy with no learning curve whatsoever. I mean, the average person should get this down within the first few moments of trying. And don't worry, everybody at the boat ramp is going to be super understanding. So if it's your first time and it does take you 45 minutes to back the trailer down, nobody's going to care. They're going to reach out, help you, probably give you some instructions especially if you show up at noon on a Saturday on a one or two lane boat ramp and do this. Now, if you can't tell, I am laying on the sarcasm about as thick as I possibly can right here. That's right. If you've never backed a trailer up, do not show up at your local boat ramp at noon on a Saturday. In all likelihood, if you struggle coming down that boat ramp at noon on a Saturday, you're going to have 15 cameras out recording your every action, somebody in the back of the line laying on the horn telling you to get the heck off the ramp, and that boating day is going to turn into a stressful one pretty darn fast, especially if you're doing it with your significant other. Kind of like we see right here. Wifey's the lady in pink in the boat. 
Even she starts getting frustrated, as you can tell by the hand signals here, by her husband trying to back the trailer up. So if you've never backed the trailer up, do yourself a favor and get a little practice and go down to your boat ramp on a Wednesday. But even if your boat ramp's busy all the time, find a church parking lot, a school parking lot on a weekend, somewhere where you can go, no stress, and just learn how to back that trailer up. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Taylor Mailer, Ed Meek, Benicio, Skilled Truckers Canada, and Towboat San Diego did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.